Brittany hasn't always been a rich and prosperous tourist area. The real people here eat simple, humble things, like this amazing dish Jacques Eve and I are going to cook for you today. It's the same kind of dish as the Lancashire hot pot or as the boiled bacon and cabbage you'll find in Ireland. It's very complicated, it takes hours to do, we're far too busy with a half an hour programme to demonstrate the whole thing properly, I'm bound to cheat, we're bound to have a little glass in between times. This is Jacques Eve. you might have met him a couple of years ago in a wonderful series called Floyd on Fish, where we've returned to cook this brilliant dish. Jackie, while we muck about with all of these things, you've got about two minutes to explain how this dish, where it comes from, why we're doing it. And we've got to fill this up as well, haven't okay. we? OK, you watch all this. You can always find out. Turn to page 76 of my brilliant new book for the exact details. But where does this dish come from, Jackie? Well, it used to be an old farmer's dish. Food by women in the fireplace. And it's supposed to be a very poor dish because everything you need for that course is supposed to be at the farm. But, um, let's see. That's yeah, well, it. you tie that up. That's a bit boring, all of that. It's an old peasant dish, OK? We're doing it very quickly in this brilliant half-hour programme. Throw that away. That, by the way, is buckwheat flour, eggs, butter, cream and milk, all whipped up. Made like a Christmas pudding, made like a dumpling. In the meantime, what we do, Clive, we have this brilliant piece of beef, these bones of beef, and we pop those into <coughs> simmering hot water. Now, you, I don't know if you can see that from here. They go in there for about... Oh... Two and a half hours to simmer very, very slowly to get a lovely rich juice. Also, now imagine, please, out the way, Jackie, for oh, heaven's sake. Sorry. Imagine, please, that has now been simmering for two and a half hours. Okay, because it has. So we put in some onions one, two, three, four onions, a couple of little turnips, a few carrots, and a few leeks. And we let that simmer for about 20 minutes. 20 minutes has passed. Clever, isn't it? Because we then put in the cabbage. Brittany is famous for its cabbages and its cauliflowers. And they go in there like that. Now, that has happened two and a half hours ago. At the same time, in this big boiling pot, we've got water. And is pas moi le sac, to play? Sure. We have this dumpling, you see, which we put in there, but we don't. We pass that to the director. Thank you very who much. Get into the World Cup, it back as well. Who would not get in the World Cup this year? Hey, hey. what do you think about this? You oh, forgot it. Oh, good lord. Awfully sorry, I forgot to put the smoked bacon and the sausages in. They just go in and simmer with the dumplings for the last hour or so. At the same time, these lovely dumplings have been cooked. OK? Clive, where are you? Can you still see me? Let me show you what happened at the end of all of that. You have these brilliant pieces of meat, cabbage and vegetables. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Up, cameraman sent me to lift it up. There's the beef cooked. OK. There is the clear consomme, which you'll eat as a soup before you have the dish. There's the cabbage, which you'll remember we added almost at the end of the cooking. There are the carrots and the little sweets. It's really rather brilliant, isn't it? What we'll do now, we'll amuse ourselves. Go and weed the garden, read your cookery books, do your yoga, and we'll dish it up, and you can taste it. Well, there you are. OK, Clive, long, loving pan right across this, the smoked bacon, the rib of beef, the smoked sausages, the little navvy turnips to you, little carrots, cabbage, and this splendid dumpling. It's a wonderfully simple dish. It's typical all over France, this kind of long-cooked dish containing very simple ingredients, like the choucroute in Alsace. But why are we so ashamed in Britain of the wonderful things we do, like the Han Lancashire hot pot? Not the Lancashire hot pot, the Lancashire hot pot. It's exactly the same kind of thing. We'll do that in my next series. Anyway, this is a peasant farmer's dish. Do you know, curiously enough, and believe me or believe me not, you do not drink this with wine or cider or beer, you drink it with milk. And you drink it with the milk with my friend Jacques-Yves, who I met two years ago, where this series, Floyd on France, was created. One night we were sipping our milk, late winter evening, nothing else to do, stirring a little honey, slightly warm, cold night, and we planned Floyd on France. Good night. <laughs>